Hi, I'm Darren Rose. Every Genelec loudspeaker can be calibrated to compensate for unwanted effects caused by speaker placement and room acoustics. In another video, I showed you how to do that with the 6040R using the dip switches. In this video, I'll show you how to calibrate the system with a computer and GLM software. Genelec Loudspeaker Manager, GLM, is software that was developed to control certain Genelec loudspeakers that have the ability to communicate with it. The 6040R is one of these speakers, and by connecting it to the network interface, it's possible to calibrate the loudspeakers and see the results on the screen. GLM is a separately purchased package which contains the GLM network adapter device and a measurement microphone. Take two RJ45 cables, connect one between the 6040Rs, and from either loudspeaker, connect the second RJ45 cable to the GLM interface. Connect the GLM interface to your computer's USB port. Power up the speakers on your computer. Download the latest version of GLM from genelec.com GLM. After installing the software, start the GLM. GLM automatically finds the speakers connected in the system. Drag and drop the loudspeakers to the grid, left to left side and right to right side. While you do this, the LED on the loudspeaker blinks and you'll hear a test tone to know which loudspeaker you're working with. After finalizing, you can give this setup a name. Confirm the group. When you've placed the microphone, press the Start Calibration button in the GLM and wait silently for the measurement signal. After the measurement is complete, GLM starts to work to compensate the unwanted effects caused by the room and the placement of the loudspeakers. Name and save the setup file. You are now ready to confirm the auto calibration. At this stage, GLM goes to its main page from where you can control the volume of the loudspeakers. Double click the icon in the grid. A new window opens showing the settings of that loudspeaker. GLM aims for a flat frequency response where all frequencies are played at the same level. It can be good to take some time to get used to the new settings after calibration. Often a natural and neutral level of bass can feel very thin to begin with, but you quickly realize that without excess bass, the mid-range frequencies are less masked and play with much more clarity. Anyhow, it's a matter of choice and all settings can be adjusted manually in the GLM software. So if, for example, you would like to have a higher level of bass, it's perfectly easy and possible to add some more bass in the GLM software. If the frequency response shows that there's bass energy missing, it can be related to the placement of the loudspeaker. If you change the location and remeasure, you'll see the difference. In the EQ section, it's possible to adjust the settings. Unless the loudspeakers are not at the same distance from your listening position, it may be good to check the level and distance settings from both loudspeaker settings and set them to zero. After you're satisfied with the sound, it's possible to store the settings into the 6040Rs if you don't want to use GLM every time you use the loudspeakers. From the drop-down menu, select the Store the settings into loudspeakers option. After changing your loudspeaker placement, or if you'd just like to adjust your settings, plug the network cables back into the loudspeakers, open GLM, and adjust. It's easy and fun.